Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Manuel. Today we're going to be learning about dark mode, right? And actually, this is so simple that I'm not sure why so many people don't do it. So anyhow, I just decided maybe make a video on that. Maybe that's the reason. So basically, we're going to be building a very simple application, nothing fancy at all. And I'm just basically going to show you how you can build with dark mode in mind. So when you select your colors, you basically just provide colors for dark mode. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So just go ahead, create a new project. And basically, I'm just going to add a very simple label right here. And um, I'm just going to call this Hello World, all right? Because we're getting introduced to the world of dark mode compatibility. So just hold down cl um, control, click and drag. We're going to select, hold down shift, click on horizontal, vertical, just so it is like constraint to the middle. Then refresh your constraints. Beautiful. Now let's say on light mode, I want this value to be green, for example. And uh, on dark mode, I want it to be mm, white. Mm. So what I would do now, if I were just building a simple application, just go ahead and select this color green. And if I were to run this, let's see what this is going to look like. Or actually for it to even make more sense, I guess I should have just chosen black, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's just go ahead, click on this. And sorry for the confusions, my guys. Just go ahead and select black color. And we're going to go ahead and run this. So this is a black text on a white background. And run the application it looks perfect now let's go ahead and switch or toggle to the dark mode just hold down command shift and a and you can see ooh, ooh what's the text it just disappeared right and people um love I, again many people love dark mode i think well just correct me if i'm wrong so um on dark mode i want this text to be white right so it's accessible so it is very simple what i can do even though there are like the default values i think if you go ahead and select uh label text i think so label text is going to be black. And if you run this, it's going to give you um, the dark mode version, which is going to be white, Ooh, I think. Oh, yeah. So but let's see how we can do this for ourselves in case we don't want to use like black and white. So um, I'm just going to go straight into our assets. And in our assets, we're going to need to create a new color. So usually I like to create a folder. So just click on that and select folder like this. Basically, I have that folder and I call it colors, right? Now in our colors, I'm going to add a new, um, what's it called? I'm going to add a new color to that. So you can just go ahead and right click on that and select new color set like this. And this is going to create a new color. Now let's say we want this color to be called, um, we want this color to be green on light mode and we want it to be um, pink on dark mode or white on, on dark mode. What I like to do is I like to name my colors in such a way that I can tell what it'll be in dark mode. So um, like in our example, I'm just going to say green and then I always separate them with an underscore. So on light mode, I want it to be green. On dark mode, I want it to be um, white. OK, so this is going to be the name of my color. And right here, you can see that we have two options. We have the any appearance, which is you can think of as the light mode and then the dark mode color. Now, what we need to do is in our light mode, what do we want it to be, right? It says green. So just go ahead, come here. You can, you can specify the RGB or you can go ahead and you can show your color panel and just basically choose whatever you want it to be. So you can just go ahead and select green like this. And so this is going to be the color green and light mode. Now in dark mode, I want it to be white. So you can just go ahead and again, you can also choose hex if you feel like it. And FFF is white, so that's cool. You can also specify your opacity if you feel like it. Or you can go ahead, select this, or get like, there's just a lot of things, whatever ways you want to get your color, right? But the main thing is on dark mode, I want it to be white. Or you can make it more obvious and just go ahead and select on dark mode, I want it to be orange. Good. So I go ahead and save that. And if we head back to our main dot storyboard, you can see our label is here. And if I wanted to use this color that I just made, that is dark mode compatible, then I just go ahead and click on colors and you can see that we have that over here. So this is green, white. Well, it shouldn't be green, white anymore. It should be green, um, orange. But with this, you can go ahead and run your application. And on dark mode, you can see that it is orange. Now, if I were to hold down Command Shift and A, it's going to toggle to light mode, and you can see that it is green. So this is so simple. Like you can just make your so whenever you're building your apps and you're naming your colors, just choose colors. Just go the extra mile and just choose colors for the dark mode. And personally, all my apps 
all, all the apps I use on my phone, dark mode, I just love dark mode. You can see my access code is dark. And I, I guess maybe many programmers are like that as well. But anyhow, it's very simple and you can do it yourself. And you don't always have to run your app if you wanna maybe see what the dark mode version looks like. You can just come right at the bottom over here. You're gonna see something called appearance and just toggle that. You can see this is a dark mode color and it's updated in real time. So dark mode, orange, go again, click, light mode, green. And if you wanna change the color and maybe on dark mode, you don't want it to be um, orange, you can just come back to your color assets, click on that, click on the dark mode um, color and you can just go ahead and select, uh, which white, 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 white. Am I getting blind, you guys? I can't find it. Yeah, it's not a waste of time. That was a short video, so I can waste your time, haha. <laughs> so, yeah, I click on that, select white. And if you go back to your Windows storyboard, and you go and click on this, you see that now on dark mode, it is white. So, there you have it, guys. I just wanted to make this very short, quick video on light dark mode. Maybe it helps you. If it did, go ahead and smash the like button. And um, until our next video, you guys stay blessed. Yay!